Welcome to Dell Technologies Connectrix Brocade B Series Break Fix Series. How to clear the zoning config and then add a switch to a brocade fabric. Reference Dell Knowledge Article Number 028673. This video was created to demonstrate how to clear the zoning configuration on a segmented switch and then add it to an existing fabric. This video presents the following. One of the reasons for fabric segment is different content in either effective or defined configurations. In this video, switch 2 is segmented from existing fabric due to zone conflict CFG mismatch. When to do this? Switch is segmented due to zoning conflict. Switch has different zoning to rest of the fabric. Following can be observed in the switch show and error dump outputs. Before you begin. This procedure should only be carried out if the customer is positive, the zoning is incorrect on the segmented switch. Caution. Be careful that you telnet into the correct switch before proceeding. Config upload. You will need an FTP client running that the switch can upload the config to. Port disable X. Where X is the ISL port being disabled. CFG clear to clear all the zone information in the transaction buffer. All the defined zone objects in the transaction buffer are deleted. CFG disable. To disable the current zone configuration. The fabric returns to non-zoning mode, a mode in which all devices can see each other. CFG save. To save the current zone configuration. Port enable X. There will be a fabric rebuild and then the zoning should be inherited from the fabric. On virtual fabrics enabled environments. Create logical switches with same FID on segmented switch or a newly added switch. Form physical ISL connection between same VFs. Disable ISL ports on both the ends. Set the logical switch context to specific FID and run CFG clear, CFG save on segmented switch or newly added switch. Then, enable ISLs on both ends. Run CFG save and CFG enable. Switch 1 and Switch 2 are physically connected via E ports 0 and 1. Run Switch Show on both the switches. You can see that E ports are segmented due to zone conflict. Compare CFG show on both the switches to find out the difference. In this example, effective configuration on switch 1 has an additional zone with the name new zone. Hence, switches are segmented due to zone conflict CFG mismatch. If the content difference is small, you can manually add, delete, or modify the config differences using zone or alias commands. But in larger fabric configurations, if you are unable to find out the differences and positive that the zoning is incorrect on the segmented switch, you can follow these steps. Take a backup of current configuration from segmented switch. This can be restored if you run into any issues while clearing the zoning config. Run port disable 0 and port disable 1. Run CFG clear. Run CFG disable command. And then CFG save. Enable the E ports. There will be a fabric rebuild, and then the zoning should be inherited from the fabric. To check if the ISLs have come back online, run switch show, and look at ports 0 and 1. Run fabric show to check if switches are merged in same fabric. To check the zoning is back, run CFG active show. You can see that the new zone is now copied to switch 2. Important notes. Please review the following commands. CFG clear. Use this command to clear all zone information in the transaction buffer. All defined zone objects in the transaction buffer are deleted. 
If an attempt is made to commit the empty transaction buffer while a zone configuration is enabled, you are warned to first disable the enabled zone configuration or to provide a valid configuration with the same name. After clearing the transaction buffer with the CFG clear command, use the CFG disable command to clear the entire zoning configuration, both the transaction buffer and the active configuration. If there is no current active zoning configuration, or you just want to clear the transaction buffer, use the CFG save command to commit the transaction. CFG disable. Use this command to disable the current zone configuration. The fabric returns to non-zoning mode, a mode in which all devices can see each other. This command ends and commits the current zoning transaction buffer to both volatile and non-volatile memory. CFG save. Use this command to save the current zone configuration. This command writes the defined configuration and the name of the effective configuration to non-volatile memory in all switches in the fabric. Refer to the following for more information. KB number 028673. Doc U83435, Brocade Fabric OS Administrator's Guide. Fabric Segmentation and Zoning. Doc U83446, Brocade Fabric OS Command Reference Guide. Thank you for watching. 